What's up guys? Um, my name is Isaac Kultorf and I'm going to try to detail my car. And I'm new at this, so definitely not going to be a tutorial or anything like that. It's definitely going to be more of a experimental thing. So um, I just figured I'd record this and kind of share my, my thoughts along the way and potentially some mistakes as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So I did. This is my car actually, <laughs> I should probably tell you that. Um, 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee and has 180,000 miles. So the paint is pretty scratched up. If you can't see it um, on camera, it's bad in person. So um, I actually washed it yesterday, um, last night, cause it was shaded and I wanted to make sure to get a wash with no sunlight um, and I kind of just said screw it and wash in sunlight today because I don't have any other choice. I gotta get it clean before I pull it in the garage and start doing some of the actual polishing stuff. So I just started on this side cleaning the wheels. Um, I sprayed it with Dots heavy duty wheel cleaner right here. Um, so that's what's on there soaking right now. I'm about to rinse it off with the power washer. But yeah, then we'll, once we're done, that'll be um, what we'll do on the second side and then just do a full wash and rinse and pull it inside. Okay, so I'm using this thing called Speed Shine. It's supposed to be like a lubricant for um, in between the paint and the synthetic clay. So I had to pull it inside because it's crazy hot out right now. And if the sun, if it's in the sun while you try to do all of it, it's just gonna dry up way too fast. So um, I'm gonna try this and see if it works. Hopefully, I'm not gonna dry it. Um, that way, it's just a little bit easier to glide over the paint and everything. So I just uh, just finished washing um, everything off as well as I could um, in the conditions that I could. And then also I went ahead and rinsed it all. And then I'd used that speed shine with the clay bar, got as much as I could off of that. Um, I didn't really know what to feel for. Um, I know that the video I watched was kind of pointing towards a smoother surface by the touch. And so I tried to go off that as best as I could, but um, I just don't have enough experience to, to really understand what I'm looking for. So um, I did that as best as I could. Like I said, this car is a learning experience for me. It's just a kind of a test subject and see what kind of correction I can do with little to no knowledge of this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry as well as I can. Just let it drip off a little bit more. It's still dripping a little bit. I'm gonna actually go through and just tape off um, all of this trim. You can kind of see I'm doing it right now. Um, just to, to make sure that I protect all those plastic pieces as best as I can. After that, I'll set up the polisher and then um, get started on cutting. I did the door trims, but I left these bottom parts right here because they kind of already look like crap. And if it ends up looking good, I'll plan on repainting them. Same for this back side as well. Um, you can definitely see this black is faded. So I'm just gonna go ahead and touch it up post uh, polishing. And then this is the right side as well. I just taped up all the, the stuff that I'm most likely not gonna paint again. Um, that was in direct contact with the paint on the second edge. So then this side as well, up on the hood. I left these parts of the headlights um, untaped because I'm gonna actually restore the headlights. As you can see, they're definitely faded and the same on the right side too. So um, that's my plan of attack for some of the polishing stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we'll go ahead and move on to um, actually getting some of this paint corrected. Alright, here's nothing. Okay, that felt very rough. <laughs> that did not feel like it was. Actually, some removal of the scratches and stuff. Um, 
So this second pass definitely worked a lot better. I'm gonna try to show it on camera for you guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. So you see, there's still definitely scratching, but this up to yours is the part that I worked on and that's it unworked on. So, um, I, mean, I definitely don't feel crazy confident with it right now. I just don't know how to hold the machine or anything. Um, and it's definitely a challenge, but I definitely think that it's just gonna take a little bit of time and patience to get used to. I just don't wanna compromise the paint too much to the point where I can't return it. Like I said, it's a it's a practice car. A car that's got me around, it's been really good to me, but I wanna make it look nice for the next person who buys it. If I can do that, awesome. If not, I mean, it's a lesson learned. This car's mostly on the left side done. There's not a crazy noticeable difference right now. Kind of tell from some of the things I've been polishing out and stuff, the, the scratches are coming out. There's just way deeper scratches that I didn't even realize that were in this car, so. I am starting to get a little bit better, um, just I think with my form and stuff, but there's so, so much dusting, there's crazy amounts of dusting, which I don't know if that's just my pad, because I, I bought the pad that the Griot's garage, whatever came with, so that's the one I'm using, they probably could use a better pad. Um, and I'm sure there's still flaws in my techniques and not me being able to do it properly, but yeah, we're making progress, it's definitely, gonna take a lot longer than I thought. It's 2.30 and I started at nine or 10 and I've only done the left side of the car. So luckily I don't have to do the hood and I'm not gonna do the roof because I have hail damage. Um, so it's really kind of pointless to do that, but definitely gonna be some time consuming work, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Four forty-five, and it's all compounded up. Definitely interested to see the results of the polish because there's no real optical difference as far as like something that's noticeable right now. Definitely when it's up close though, I can show. Hopefully, it'll show up on camera. So I don't know if that shows up on camera, but that is compounded. Um, paint right there and I'll show you a piece that is not because it's beat to hell so that's unpolished you can tell it's a lot more hazy there's a bunch of scratches and stuff in it but yeah all right so it is the next day I'm done with all the compounding and stuff on the Jeep. And today we're gonna do the second phase of it, the Meguiar's 205 polish. We're gonna go ahead and hit all the panels that I hit. The rear bumper, there's a place in the middle next to the tow hitch that is just beat to hell. It's kind of a mess and we ruined a pad if I were to go over it and kind of unsalvageable at this point as far as paint, paint sake. So we're gonna touch that and then my front bumper also, I don't know if it's bug guts or whatever, but there's paint chipping or something that's all throughout that front bumper that even with the clay bar, even everything but sanding, um, couldn't get it off. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave that as well. <laughs>
quick little update for you guys. So basically polished all of the parts of the car that I could towards the end of the polishing phase. The, the pad started almost like over saturating the paint. And so I go over and it almost be like completely wet and I wipe it and then it'll leave marks. And so I made the mistake of buying only one uh, finishing pad and definitely should have bought two and swapped them out halfway through. If I was doing every single part of the car, I would definitely do three. So if you guys have an SUV, I would recommend three for sure, just to be safe and make it easier on yourself. We are gonna move on now. Um, hopefully all the parts that I hit are good and they'll last a while. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and put this uh, poly wax on. It came with a microfiber application pad as well as a microfiber cloth to, to wipe down. Um, when it's done, so I'm assuming this is gonna be pretty easy. I'm not sure. It definitely looks nice. I think it's because the car is just so beat up, honestly. Like there's so many different imperfections and things wrong with it that it just makes it kind of hard to save, especially as an OCD kind of guy with cars and stuff. It's a little more tough to accept that um, this may not be like the most perfect detailing job but um yeah we'll see how it holds up i mean it looks on camera it looks 10 million times better than it does in person but i don't know let me know if you guys i didn't really do any before videos or pictures um but i mean if it looks good on camera let me know in the comments what you guys think um there's definitely some like small little spaces and things that i need to touch up like i just need to repaint this hood because it's kind of screwed up and uh, touch up the headlights and a few small things here and there but um, yeah that's that's the non-climactic end to the video um, let me know what you think and if you like this video let me know I might end up doing more but hopefully get a WX soon but she's shiny right now and that's that's satisfying for me so Thanks, guys.